to Maya and welcome to my channel. I'm back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be recreating a makeup look that I did last year for Valentine's Day and I came up with this look. Unfortunately, when I first recorded this video, it got deleted, so I had to do it again. But without further ado, let's get into the video. But first, make sure you do those four important things. Make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bar, and share this with somebody you think would enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm just going to take the shade Bori from the Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to use my JH30 Morphe brush. And I'm going to pack that in with dabbing motions instead of swiping motions because I really want to press in that color pigment so I get a nice payoff with the color and I'm not blending it out. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the other eye. With that same brush, I'm just going to feather out the ends that I packed the shadow in and then I'm going to take the JH33 brush and the color Zobo from the Juvia's Place palette and then just kind of feather that out and blend it into the crease so it gives it more depth into the eyes. Then I'm going to go into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm going to mix these two yellow shades right here together and put it onto the almost the brow bone right above the crease with the JH39 brush. And with this look, I didn't focus too much on blending out the shadows because I wanted each of the colors still to have a nice presence in the look. So I just blended it enough so it looked cohesive and nice, but I still wanted the colors to really pop on my eyes. So I, it's pretty simple. You don't have to do a lot of blending with this look. And I realized that the brow bone was still a little too dark for me. So I decided to take this nice pinky shade that is in the second row, first column of the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I just kind of blended that into the crease brow bone area. The shadow is all done, so I'm just going to take my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner and do my wing eyeliner. The only reason I did a wing eyeliner with this look, although I'm doing a glitter liner, is because I find the glitter sticks better when you have a nice base to stick to and it gives you a nice template to put it on with than if I just went in with the glitter primer. And speaking of glitter primer, I use the NYX glitter primer and my Morphe brush M432, which is the same thing I used to do my brows, but I usually just clean it off. And then the glitter that I use is from Beauty Treats Incorporated in the color gold, and it's the Glamour Glitter. And what I use to pack the glitter on with is just a random brush tool that I got from a liquid glitter liner. But the glitter liner ran out and I just kept the brush because it's small and fine. So it really gets the glitter on into detailed areas. And then when you're working with glitter liner, you just want to make sure that you're putting the glitter primer on in small sections and then packing the glitter on so then it doesn't dry out and you have a nice even layer of glitter on your eye. I also do want to apologize that the video isn't all in focus. I tried to set up my camera different and clearly it didn't work the way I intended, so please bear with me. Okay, so I'm just going to take my favorite foundation, which is the Fenty Pro Filter Longwear Foundation. And I have the shade 430 that I use. And then I'm going to take this Sonia Cash Cook Silicone Makeup Sponge, and I'm going to use that to evenly spread it around my face. And then I'm going to go in with a blending sponge to kind of even it out and blend it out.
Okay, so I cleaned off my M432 brush and I'm going to use it to clean up my wing eyeliner, making sure not to get too close to the glitter because I don't want it to move around, get on my foundation. And then I'm going to blend it out and I did use my foundation to do that. Now I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 490 and put little dots in all my contoured areas. And with a different sponge, I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm just going to take the same concealer in 370 and I'm going to put that in my highlighting areas. And as you can tell, I have a different shade since my Fenty review. And this is a color that works for my undertones and I love it a lot. And if you haven't seen the video already, be sure to check it out. But I did put a little too much concealer because it is highly pigmented. So I had to go back in with two different sponges. So I used this sponge to blend it out and then I used my sponge from my foundation to blend it all together. Now I'm just going to take my contour concealer in 490 and my Morphe 432 to put it on and then blend it out with a sponge and a brush. Okay, so now it's time to set my face and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the color Honey and I'm going to use that to bake or set my highlighted area. Now I have my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade with this nice contour brush and I'm going to pack that into my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush with the middle shade from the same contour palette and I'm going to blend everything together and wipe off any excess powder. In this step, I'm just adding little hearts to my face. I'm sorry it's hard to see. I didn't focus it well in this part, but I'm just using the NYX Professional Makeup White Liquid Liner to do this, but in this, if you were to try it, it's kind of like a trial and error freehand type of thing. So even if you watch me, it's kind of like you just gotta do it to be able to do it. That didn't even make any sense, but I know you know what I mean. But I'm just going to add little hearts into my face and then take my beloved Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight and I'm going to highlight all my areas just so I can glow like the sun. And I kind of did my lashes off camera but I just took my Milani lip liner in Sugar Plum and then this Bare Minerals Gin Nude sample size lip gloss and I think I might get the actual sized one because I really like it but this is the end of the look thank you guys for watching Okay guys, so we've made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget those four important things. Like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bar, and share this with somebody you think would enjoy this video. But thanks so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!